Hey you guys, welcome back to another edition of WWE Supercard. I'm your host, Aaron Mitchell, and first off today, I'm not claiming any money back rewards this month, but I'm just going to show you what the rewards are, as you know from Supercard's tweets or Facebook posts. I'm to a post on Facebook as well. The main cards are Naomi and Bray Wyatt. I'm not going for any of them because most of my, yeah, I could get a compatible tag with Natty. But A, I'm not like overly, I'm kind of disappointed with the actual money in the bank animation chain with design cards. And it's probably going to be Mania ones next, or maybe Fastlane ones. So I may go for one of those. I was actually quite expecting it all this month to be Rumble ones. So I'm quite surprised they skipped Rumble and went from Roadblock to the Chamber. The image for Bray Wyatt, I'm, I actually like a bit. It's kind of cool as well, thinking of it, like what it got, like the chain, like over the picture. That's kind of cool, but apart from that, I'm not a big fan of them. Then we got Dean Ambrose, 14,450 contracts. That's a top tier elite card, so if you can get him, and if he's a pro for you, congrats. I may try and get a pro of him, I might. No, I won't be able to lose 27 days. Maybe new tier by then. No, I'm just going to save up my contracts. Then we got Mr. No Way Jose. And then, woo woo woo, you know it, Zack Ryder. We've got Paige, which would, when it's fit in there, be the WrestleMania card when I no longer need it. But I've already got a pro to it anyway. Then Survivor Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Legendary Roman Reigns, and then Epic Kobe Kingston. The Epic Kobe is like mid to low tier, Roman's high tier, Austin's high tier, Paige is high tier, female. Then Ryder and Jose are like low tier cards then ambrose is like top five or joint top five in elite and then bray and, and naomi are obviously gonna be like top two because they're like event equivalent cards so i finally probed my last regular ultimate card last night which was i find him um, the man of the plan brian kendrick natty is pro as well obviously i pro it before the event uh second charlotte is leveled up um but she is not ready to be pro she's got six speed Two charisma matches. I'll just go to combine a bit easier. Um, KO almost done. He needs seven more levels. Then he can be pro. Same with Truth. He's done, but he just needs to who get the levels played on him. And then Woods needs games. He's nearly done with games. Then he'll, be, he'll need to be leveled up to. And Paige, I think she's in the same boat as well. Yes. So. Do I have any cards which I could level them up? I like this is like the first time in a long time I've been this low on cards. So I've got I probably use Charlotte to level up my ultimate Charlotte Pro a bit, and then you know, Owens for elite cards. Do I have if I have terrible elite cards? Right here, what do I have? Ah, uh, no, I've got decent ones. I don't. So RTG. Randy Orton, as you know, I put title. I used the 600 credits not long after I got into Sami Zayn. I'm currently 45 out of 200 on Rusev right now. I've got 57 left, but if I run out, then I'll just use like the ad glitch, maybe some minor bank contracts. Who knows? But I am going to save up my contracts for maybe the next. I'm, I'm going to play like minor bank a bit, but I'm going to save up my contracts to like the next cycle, maybe depending on the design. If I don't like the design, the design of the next cycle of rewards. Then maybe I'll wait for possibly Mania, or, or I may wait to get the Extreme Rules ones, because the Extreme Rules ones are probably going to be really, really good. That's if Extreme, yeah, I think it might be like Extreme Rules is Smackdown and then Payback, I believe, is Raw. I'm not too sure, obviously, with the new pay-per-views, with the new brand split, it's quite difficult to remember. And with my second account, I probably will... Like save up contracts there as well to and then get the pro the next cycle elite card maybe because obviously I'm elite tier there now but maybe I could potentially get Dean Ambrose as my ladder reward if I did then I would cash in obviously for the pro so yeah we're currently free to work obviously I'm going to get a ton of losses now where I am on elite kind of got level zero elites and ultimates in getting a games played but like the rest of my cards are. Bring it through for me, like the elite, elite pros. 
and he held my cards. So we ended a winner. You know, I must have lost. I lost by less than a hundred points. Not too bad. But like with me, my mentality with like road to glory and wild and that. I'm not too bothered and ring down. I'm not too bothered to perfect win bonus. Like if, if it means I get can get games done quick on the cards, then I prefer that compared to getting an extra like one, two, three picks. I believe I'm gonna lose this one as yeah. Oh my god! No, I'm gonna win. Ah, uh, he was her some Sam Pro Randy, and I was just a uh, elite single. Looks at it, but it looks fit. And they're gonna win there with it being a hard and prone there, and uh, onto a shard. But I win seven four. Getting close now with the amount of like weak cards I've got in, but I'm not too bothered. I'll carry on using them in my deck until I can't win no more. One time it's getting like really really close, like draws, losses, etc. I like maximize my best possible chances I've got of getting them done. And on my main device, I am currently downloading my NBA 2K17 because I've been I was playing it quite a lot yesterday on my laptop on a rivals cash because I'm looking at the rewards and top 50k now you can get a legendary card as you know it's the second highest tier in NBA my NBA at the moment uh, with the highest being uh, start here and. For the top 10k, you can get um a LeBron James MVP. I think it was just Chicago Bulls. Oh, I can't remember what team card it was of LeBron James, which I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I don't know a lot, an awful lot about my NBA, but like, I only know like the top top players. But like when I played the, my NBA games, like so this <coughs> when I played in my NBA games and say. Like I played a season, I put it on to like season and that. I, I, I do the draft thing myself. When I, when I can, I'll make sure I draft LeBron James first. And if I can't, if I don't do the draft, I just pick, is it the Cavaliers? He's with, yeah, the Caval I just pick the Cavaliers. So yeah, and also um, with my NBA with the Blacktop Challenge, I've got the required like contracts per se, if you know, get, if you know what I mean. Like the reward, like when you finish Black of Challenge, the reward you get for creeping it. I got enough of those to do like a basic cash in for one of the Evan Ultra Epic Legendary or Star Card. I just need to get the correct recipes for it. I need like two abilities and like two rares, I think. I'm not too sure, like, because there's a few things there, so I don't know if like you got to do like complete uh, one row, one row. To be able to do it, if you have to do like every single row, I'm gonna stop talking about maybe now I'm gonna crack on with card. Same thing, but uh, it looks like I'm I usually only use this one to record because the audio is bad, seems to be better than this one for some reason than this. That's been on my, uh, my main phone just now, and it's like Finbar and someone won match like um, like Finbar wins. <laughs> Uh, but Finn, he, he appears my elite one. He was my use for Maddy, a freebie was Cesaro. So I got three elite cards and a three raw cards. Ain't too bad. Two are uh, jo like joint on stats Roman Reigns and Finn Balor. The main one was Cesaro. So yeah, I'm not too far off from a ladder award on both accounts, I don't think. I'll have a look now here. Ladder awards. No, I'm free, no, 272 games away here, and I'll have a look on my uh, second count once I finish the bout on my phone. So, yeah, I'm going to play one more bout probably, or I might play both bouts and a third bout, depending on how I feel. <laughs> and then that would be it, but it, I will be gone soon. <laughs> so, um, same with uh, my second count, well, I'm dropping points there on a WrestleMania card. Despite being an elite tier, but that's because I've got level zero harding cards in like Jason Jordan, he's a pro, so I've got to level up his card. And because I don't want to get rid of the cards I've got at the moment to level him up, I've just left him at level zero right now whilst I, I get the cards. Let's uh, go back now and get check my ladder. And if I haven't like already recorded when my ladders do, I will record it if not I'll send it 
onto it and whatever. So I'm 403 games away there, so I'm closer on my um, main account. So yeah, and Charlotte and Paige lose to Elite Natalia and uh, Adam Pro uh, Sasha. And then Big Cass, but KO, and AJ Styles, but we brunch no one. So maybe with it being 28 days this month, maybe there's going to be a new tier. be interesting to see. Um, but think, like, think about Narvel. Who already named a new tier, like, here. I wouldn't, like, me, based on, like, the past years, like, being themed to, like, paper foods and that. It's, like, obviously, it started, it was just, like, rare. Super rare, ultra rare, epic, legendary, but then after that, it was like paper fill theme tiers like Survivor, Survivor Series, WrestleMania, WrestleMania, um, um paper fill, SummerSlam, SummerSlam, exactly what it says, SummerSlam, paper fill. And I would have thought maybe the new tier would be like Royal Rumble. Obviously, they can't do money in the bank because they put money in the bank, um, like game mode. Um, the Hall of Fame that would be kind of tough for that because like there's a lot there's that would be like pretty much exclusive to Hall of Fame people. Um, what else could it be? Uh, there's not really much you can do unless you name them different. Like you hear Hard and Elite and Ultimate. So let's, let's see if I can get a pull. I'm do a pull. Don't I get one on camera? That's a rarity to get probably for tier on camera. And there's my poll. I got my poll. So I'm getting Sony and I'll draw it. It was quite funny, I see. I'm called Earth and Trolled, mainly T Brown saying, oh, I got a poll, I got a poll. T Brown believed him. He sent it in and he said, I went out my poll. It was a legendary Ultimate Warrior. It was kind of funny. One thing that is quite strange, though, like when they announced these tiers, he said, like, one of the tiers would be like the savviest veterans, but there's not many veterans, if any, really in Ultimate Tier. Like, yeah, they've mixed the event cards between like legends and superstars. Like, there's been Goldberg, yeah, he, he's dressing in now, but class him as legends. Same with Shane, he's been Brett, he's been Mankind. Then, for like current wrestlers, there's been Randy. There's been Neville, there's been Bliss, I positive there's been one of them, I can't think of who it is. So yes, let's go see this match to get the games in Randy. Randy may even be done. Swim I always forget to look at the games. So yeah, I might be starting a King of Ring as well with Irvin today. I'm not too sure if anyone else is gonna be joining us with in the King of the Ring. But if they are, then it's gonna be fun. <laughs> so tag team power, cats and Joe. It'd be good to have uh, Ultimate Right to Harrow, Toughness Charisma Guy, but the only Toughness Charisma Guys I can think of in Ultimate Tier is. Um, in Ultimate Tier is Sinchuk Nakamura and Kat Hansen, who are both down arrows, which is a shame because it would have worked well with Joe being Power Speed. Can you imagine Joe and Nak in a tag, Power Speed, Toughness Charisma, two top tier cards? Uh, for example, another one that's good. Oh, power, oh, power Christmas will not be good with him. Like, one tag that would be really good if they ever brought a card out for every minute here would be The Rock and Dean Ambrose both being like top tier cards. And like Dean being Tefna Speed, Right Arrow, The Rock being Power Christmas. So we're not winning 7 5. It's getting tougher now with, as I said, with the level 0 cards in. But. Maximizing my chances of getting the cards proed quicker, and I'm too lazy to do it on my point. So, yeah, so um, I checked it. Why do I check the time then instead of the time? <laughs> that's the actual time, that's the time of the video. So, that's gonna be it for today, guys. We'll be back again soon with another edition of WWE Supercard. Um, my aim is to get somewhere on Ultimate Cesaro tonight, maybe even complete them and then spend tomorrow and the day after again, Randy Orton. It's going to be tough, but hopefully I can do it. So I've been your host, Armitch, from Team Jungling, saying off, please. 
don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below for more. Check the guys out who are in my links in the description down below. And as always, peace out, guys.